You know what's thinner than 16 millimeters? 15.1 millimeters. This is the, well not, I don't know if it's the thinnest keyboard, but it is a super thin 75% keyboard. It's mechanical, but it's optical. So apparently that lets them get a little bit thinner than your uh, Gateron low profile switches. Part of the problem is apparently they don't sound, they don't always sound as good um, and they don't always feel as good. And the thing about mechanical keyboards is <laughs> half of this at least is just how good it, uh, it feels and how good it sounds. So this is from Vissels, it's the LP85. It's a 75% keyboard and it comes out um, in about a month. It's on Kickstarter right now and they've reached all their funding. So at this point you're not gambling on anything except for them finishing the product, I guess. Um, They've tripled their funding, or just about. I think they're 140 retail, but if you kickstart it, it's like 100 bucks, so. Pre-ordering is good. Pre-ordering can be good. Pre-ordering can just also be very, very bad, so. I have been burned on Kickstarters before, and I have been burned pre-ordering games before. So opening the box, we get this nice little layout. Not a placard, but a little. Oh, it's got quick short commands on the back. So yeah, it's a cool little sheet with all your handy shortcuts. Uh, most of these though aren't anything too different from your shortcuts that you have on your keyboard already. The only other thing I'm seeing here is there's a little like how to pair guide right there. This thing can pair to, I think up to three devices. So it's pretty handy if you move around a lot, if you've got like a tablet you work on, a desktop you work on, and then you also take it away with you like with a laptop or something. Ooh, you know, it's not nearly as flexy as some of the other slim keyboards we've had here too. Like there is flex to it, but it's like, it's really not bad. Yeah, even on the overhead, like you can see it, but it's really not much. I'm always worried when flexing these things that I'm just gonna snap them or something. So you can't attach extra feet to it to change the angle. I mean, you can just put it on something, I guess, but these rubber pads will at least keep it in place for when you're moving around. Like, yeah, even on a desk mat, it doesn't really wanna move, which is nice. The <sighs> one drawback, is that I'm pretty sure it only comes in clicky. So I hope you like clickies. I don't at all. Oh, it's just like a surprisingly robust manual. I'm saying that before I open it, this thing might be like two pages, but in like 20 languages. Oh, it's got a bunch of dimensions too, which is actually handy. Like I said, these are things that are usually like on the site. So you've got like a two degree slope angle, which it's not much, like, like I said. For instance, for me, the two degrees isn't enough. I like more like three to five degrees even, because I like typing at a weird angle. I mean, it's not that weird actually, but I don't know. Okay, whatever, manual, boring. What else is in here? We have a cable. It's pretty standard. USB A to C. Yeah, kind of whatever. Ooh, and there's like a coffee sticker and a handshake sticker. You know you want to shake hands. Shake hands with Vissels. Uh, let's take a little bit closer look at the keyboard itself though, right after this message from our sponsor, Manscaped. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Their performance package 4.0 kit is designed to contain everything you need to make grooming below the waist easy. It includes the updated Lawnmower 4.0 with its wireless charging, weed whacker nose trimmer for the tricky areas, plus some other goodies like the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver sprays for deodorizing and toning. Get 20% off plus free international shipping using the link in the description below. So one thing a lot of you will notice right away if you buy this uh, is it's ABS keycaps instead of PBT. I know PPT is basically better, like everyone kind of likes it more. I actually really like ABS. I like the weird shininess it gets and I like how it's like, I don't know, I just like the feel of it. So I'm perfectly fine with this. Yeah, there's no keycap puller or switch puller. Uh, I don't think this is hot swappable. I think a lot of optical switches are hot swappable. Again, I'm not like super into optical switches, so I don't know a ton about them, but um, we need a keycap puller because I got to look under these bad boys. Again, it's only clicky. Um, so if you don't like clickies, you're kind of out of luck. I don't like the space bar. It's a minor thing, but the space bar just feels too low. Like this whole thing is pretty flat, but the keycaps like feel pretty good. And it is thin. Like, look at this thing. You need to buy that? Use this. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna use our banana. So yeah, this thing is like two banana, a banana and a half long, pretty much. One banana, okay, I'll, I'll be very scientific when measuring this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's about a banana and a half long, so that's pretty sweet. And it's about two thirds of a banana tall, or wide, I guess. And then 
it's like barely a, it's not even a tip. It's not even a banana tip tall. So it goes up to about 15.1 uh, millimeters with the keycaps on. So this is one of the, one of, if not the thinnest keyboard that I've ever typed on. And I like it. I like how little desk space it takes up. I like how low profile it is. Um, it looks good. I like how spaced out all the keys are with it being 75%. It's all very uniform. So I don't know if it's just the opticals or these opticals in particular, but it does feel like a little bit mushy, which is weird. Yeah, there's like a little bit of cushion on the very bottom that I'm not particularly fond of, but the rest of it, like it feels okay. Like I would still type on this over membrane any day. So let's try and take one of these off. I don't even know if you can. I've said this before, but I don't like cases that go directly down like this because it's really hard to take the keycaps off. Yeah, come on. There we go. Cool. Oh yeah, that is thin. This switch will not fit in here, um, no matter how hard you try. I mean, I shouldn't say that. Someone's gonna try it and then finagle their way into it. Jonathan, what do you think of this one? Is this better than the new fee or worse? First off, I do like the way it looks. It's very reminiscent of Apple's Magic Keyboard. I like clickies. Yeah. I like Mac keyboards. So this can have Mac. Like can I have a command but key? Yeah, you can have the a box? command key there. I don't think it's in the box. I think they only sent us the Windows version, but you can totally get it with a command key and like an option key. The font isn't bad on here. Yeah. I bet, is it an intentional decision that they kind of weighted it towards the top of the, oh, RGB. But it lets you read it easier, look. Yeah, can it just be like white? It has 19 modes. Okay. There's, yeah, so there's 19 RGB modes for you to put, to put basically whatever you want in there. The, the keys, like the text on the keys being a little bit tall, higher than the center, um, I'm like curious it. about. You know, I like don't it's think. Off-centered. It's not, it's either not off-centered enough, it looks like a mistake, mm. as opposed to intentional. I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Cause uh, it's like, it's just top left a little bit, eh? But not very much. Yeah, that yeah. kills me. <laughs> now that you mention it, I notice it too, in general. It's like, it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. it was pretty nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So if you don't want to run it wired, um, it lasts, I think about four days without the RGB turned on. If you turn on the lights, then obviously that's going to eat up more of your juice. You can see it just fine as long as it's not too dark in the room. And hey, you know what? They've got the home row um, little nubbins here. So you can just feel when you're actually on the home row. A lot of people don't even know what those are. And it's pretty and I like it. So let's type. 112, 98% accuracy. It's not bad. I think it's my best here. Like I said before though, this thing, it does feel like it's got a cushion or something. Like it's not quite a membrane, but when you bottom out, it feels almost squishy. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe surprisingly, but I'm not crazy about it. Like it doesn't feel bad, but I don't know if I'd go so far as to say it feels okay or good. I don't know if that's just the optical switch that they've designed, because I'm pretty sure this is a proprietary optical. And we tried um, pulling a keycap off and then taking the switch out, and you can't. It's not hot swap, at le or if it is, it's not easy, and I couldn't figure it out within the time frame that we have here today. So you're kind of stuck with these clickies if you do buy this thing. I think it's not bad. I think for the value, especially if you get it from Kickstarter for about a hundred bucks, I think it's pretty nice. You're not gonna get a bunch of chatter on these guys. They should last you quite a while. And optical is supposed to be crazy fast. Like that's the thing about them is you're just actioning a light. Um, so you're turning a laser on or off or you're letting the light shine through. Either way, it's supposed to be near instant versus a mechanical switch having to send an impulse and all that. Uh, I'm gonna do the typing test in wireless again. It's Bluetooth 5.0, so it's probably about the same speed or pretty close. I highly doubt it's gonna be anything noticeable, but you never know. 122, 100%. That's about what I can do like on average if I'm actually trying to type and not trying to talk and think about things at the same time. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice keyboard. I think that if you're looking for something super thin and mechanical and optical, then this is probably the keyboard for you, especially at the price point of about $100 if you get it with the Kickstarter. My only major complaints I'd say are the switches do feel a little weird. Uh, they're not perfect. 
but they're okay. They do feel a bit better than membrane. Um, my other issue is the angle of the slope. It's only two degrees, which is very minimal. So if you like a more sloped keyboard, something that's more like this, that's like a five or seven degree difference, this might not be for you because it doesn't come with feet to change anything. You've just got the uh, anti-slip silicone on the bottom. It's also great if you're an Apple user. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna stick to my big, TKL or 80% keyboards. If you like this video or you like this keyboard, check out our video on the Nufi Air 75. That's another good option for a very slim, thin 75% mechanical keyboard. Thanks for watching.